This circuit has two configurations. The capacitor sees one of the configurations before t equals 0 and another after t equals 0. Before t equals 0, this switch is closed and this switch is open. And after t equals 0, the opposite is true. Let's find the seven and equivalent of each one of those two circuits seen by the capacitor, one for t less than 0 and another for t greater than 0. Let's begin with the circuit for t less than 0. Before 0, the switch is open, and so this whole branch is as if it wasn't there. So let me erase it. Like so. This is the circuit the capacitor sees for t before 0. Let's remove the capacitor to see better what is the circuit we're trying to find the 7 and equivalent for. This is the circuit that the capacitor sees for t less than 0. Let me write here. For t less than 0, this is the circuit at the port PQ that the capacitor sees. We find the 7 and equivalent of that circuit. The open circuit is going to give us directly V7, which is all we need for the 7 and before zero. We don't need our 7 and actually, as we saw in the first tutorial. VOC can be obtained in this particular case with a voltage divider of 30 volts between 6 ohms and 3 ohms. So VOC and V7 is in this case simply 10 volts. And we're done with that part. This is the equivalent circuit that the capacitor sees for T before zero. We don't care for these are 7 and because we assume the switches have been in that state for a long time. The circuit is in DC steady state and there is no current flowing through the capacitor zone because there is no current. The voltage here is 0 volts. So this voltage that's going to be in the VC knot in the capacitor is 10 volts and we move on. Now we are to do exactly the same for the circuit for T greater than zero. How does the circuit look after this switch closes and this switch opens? In that case, this branch on the left is removed. So this is the circuit that the capacitor sees at board PQ for T greater than zero. We need to find the seven and equivalent to this one. For this one, we will need both V7 and R7. And V7 and is directly the open circuit, that is V7. And. and that in this specific circuit, we can obtain from a voltage divider 12 volts between 6 and 3. So this V7 and or VOC is just one third of 12 volts, 4 volts. That's what it is. That is V7. And for R7, because the circuit has only round sources, we kill the source, like so, and find what is the equivalent resistance that we see there. And that is just 6 in parallel with 3. R7 is 6 in parallel with 3, which is 18 divided by 9. And that is 2 ohms. The capacitor C is for T greater than 0, an equivalent circuit that has a voltage of 4 volts and an equivalent resistance of 2 ohms. This is the circuit the capacitor C is for T greater than 0. We computed before what was the initial voltage of the capacitor. We did that. 10 volts. The final voltage of the capacitor will be 4 volts. The time constant of change is going to be C times 2. They are 7 and of the second circuit. But C is 2 farads, so this is 2 times 2, 4 seconds. Which means that the voltage in the capacitor, as a function of time, for T greater than 0, has the final value of 4 and has then an exponential writing on top of that uh, that begins at 10 volts ends at 4 and has a time constant of 4 seconds. This is the voltage in the capacitor as a function of time 
for t greater than zero. It looks like this. Voltage in the capacitor, 10 volts. Final value, 4. This is the final value. And it decays with a time constant of 4 seconds. So in approximately 20 seconds, the voltage in the capacitor is already 4 volts for all practical purposes. And that's the solution of this circuit. Thank you very much.